hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Republican Espanol, where we have allied ourselves with the Soviet Union, and I think I might have caused the Soviet Union to collapse because I just basically made them declare war uh, on everyone. So, yeah, not exactly my smartest move ever. Now they're fighting, you know, different people all across the world and fighting different things, and we're basically going to be fighting against France, which. I wasn't intending to do, but apparently that's what we're going to do. We're going to be fighting against the mighty British Empire. Um, yeah, I didn't expect to have that happen. <laughs> I did not expect that to happen. Also, you guys end that. End all these waypoints. Go take on Gibraltar then. If we really have to, if we're going to have to fight Britain, let's go kill off Gibraltar before they, like, completely take us over. Okay? Because I really want to go end this war. Before anything else a bad happens. Uh, where are you guys heading? What? Uh, no. No, you guys won't head that way. Guys, head back to this land. Okay? Sheesh, it's not that hard sometimes. Okay? I don't know who you guys were grouped up to, too. So, I don't know which unit you guys are going to go to. Hopefully, I'm not sure if our troops will actually be able to fight against the so against the uh, British Empire's mighty might. Oh my goodness, this might be the end of us, people. I mean, seriously, I don't think we're going to be able to fight against Britain. Britain has way too many troops that are better than us. Um, even if we fully supply all of our troops and we enforce them up to the maximum, the British have just devilishly more troops than we do. Oh wait, because one thing I do want to do, though, is civil research don't have it yet. Oh my goodness. Wait, I think we are controlling the situation just a little bit. I think. I think we might be able to just slightly win against the British. Oh my goodness. Over here, the Soviets aren't making much progress because I didn't really realize we'd go to war. Uh, but they are so soldiering in a lot of troops. Eventually, I do believe Greece will fall, but it's going to take a little bit. The Soviets are now sending in lots of troops over here. Means probably they're going to crush through India too. Oh my goodness, your troops are in foreign territory. I know they are. Don't don't tell me that they are in foreign territory. I know they're in foreign territory. Let's see, we literally only have one front to deal with for the British. And the British might literally beat us. Because we literally have nothing we can do to stop them. Oh my goodness, that was such an idiotic move of me. Oh man. It's good that we have a couple of garrison troops here. But as you guys can see, we're losing pretty quickly. But we do have some of our men returning from the borders of the French. Oh my goodness, yeah, we're not... <laughs> oh my goodness, the British are obviously very, very tough. You guys can stop that. Just keep moving in, just keep the projects moving in. Make sure that the British are cut off. Um, by the way, stop with the Blitz and Klieg stance. If you guys are on Blitz and Klieg stance, stop it. Okay, yeah, you guys, select you guys. No more Blitz and Klieg. Uh, attacking stance. If you guys can move up, attack them. If you guys can't move up, don't attack. Because I definitely don't want to move in. Because I definitely do fear the British Empire and their might. Okay, they could definitely destroy us. And I don't want that to happen. Okay? Okay. And we got all of our troops back inside our land, which is good. By the way, no more of that too. And let's see. The Soviets are finally crushing through all of Greece, which is good. Oh, man. I think I might have just opened up a bigger front for them to deal with than what they were used to. Oh man, even with the Romanian troops, I believe that they're actually going to cause more difficulties than they actually solved. Oh man, that was an idiotic move of me. An idi idiotic move. Let's see, Germany's now doing the Blitzenkrieg just in reverse. Okay, kind of weird. Let's see. Uh, let's see, let's have you guys... All group up with the main soldiers. I don't remember each unit you guys were a part of. Let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, my troops are getting defeated pretty quickly. One, two. Okay, I'm just going to have you all group up to one unit. Okay. Just everyone group up to them. First core. 
Just gonna give give everyone love. Just give everyone a, a unit. There we go. Go, man, go! Try to save my country before it all dies from the British. Oh my goodness. My country's all gonna die from the British people. I, I think this is the end of Republican Spain. Because there's no way I, I think I can actually save myself. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the British just are way too powerful. I can't. My army was not geared towards fighting them. Oh my Oh my goodness, that's this this is kinda of making me sad a little bit. I'm not even gonna deny. It's making me sad just a little bit to see the world end this way. Um, but let's see. You guys are kinda of moving in, but you guys are mostly pushing all your troops down here into Afghanistan. Uh be very careful. Afghanistan's a very hard country to conquer, Soviet Union. Um just just a head warning. Just just a heads warning. Okay. Looks like we're getting majorly crushed by almost all the Soviets. Yeah. They're moving in pretty quickly. They're already starting to reconquer some of Portuguese lands. Oh my goodness. Oh man, we can't stop them. We can't stop them. Oh my goodness, they've already conquered half of the land. Oh. The Soviets are about to get a big push. Come on guys, push! Don't let them win! Okay. Let's see, don't let them get their... their HQ units in order. Ah. Oh man, they're pushing so much outwards, and I still have many more troops that I can keep releasing. Oh man, this is like the D Day just in reverse. Oh man. Okay, you know what? Defensive stance. Defensive stance. We're gonna try to defend ourselves. Try to see if that's gonna stop the Soviet. I mean, not the Soviet, the uh, the British advancement. Because we need to defend. We need to stabilize this. Will the Austrians recover the fall of Sydney? So, I guess Japan just took Sydney. Austria? Yep, they did. So, that's not good for them. It's not also good for the Soviets. The British, I mean, it's... Uh, these guys are moving in pretty quickly over here. Um, hopefully, Italy will take on the UK right there. Uh, we're kind of being taken over by the British right here. We're trying to defend our borders. Um, just move in if you guys can. I don't really want you guys to move in because I need you guys to defend the borders. We need to kind of hold back, defend ourselves, and slowly move in. Because right now the British are just crushing us. Oh my goodness. I think we might have this underneath our control. We might have this underneath our control. We might not die. Let's see. I think the final push for the Greek lands are being done right now. Okay. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Germany has a decent amount of forces on the front lines, not exactly a full force of soldiers. They're definitely not going to be ready for when the Germans declare war. Uh, all because of me. All because of me, because I'm mostly sending all the troops over here to go fight in this war. Oh my goodness. This war that we didn't even really need, but yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're losing quite rapidly to the uh, HQ of the British. We're trying our best, though. Um, let's go see. Um, can I just go, like, right here, right here, and right here, and just, like, maybe encircle them? Will that work? Can I do something really kind of amazing? Or is it, are they going to block me from this? They're probably going to block me from this, because they have tougher troops than me. Yeah, they're already starting to block me. Okay, yeah. You know, connect to the first core. You know, connect to... Where's the nearest unit? Uh, Mittel, Africa... Oh my goodness, yes. Oh my goodness, yeah, we've lost. We've lost most of our men. Most of my men are in disarray. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it, if I'd only known, man, if I'd only known that those guys were not that, I would not have declared war. <laughs> oh my goodness, would not have declared war if I'd known. Not have declared war if I know. Oh yeah, I, I seem like I'm done. I'm done for. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do something unorthodox. Okay, people. Let's see. I'm going to actually reload one of my games. So I'm actually gonna reload before I went to war against these guys. I'll come back in when we have that. So I'll see you guys in a second. I've never done this before in any of my games. Usually, well, actually, I did it a couple times before just because of. Computer reasons. I've never actually done it for, uh, for a, uh, 
because I just want to redo this. So I'll see you guys in a second when I come back. Okay, people, we are in a time now a little bit backwards where we did not declare war and have that massive uh, problem we had. We're now back into the regular game where everything's now cool, dandy, and we're not going to do the same mistake we did last time. We're just going to keep it really easy, really simple, and not destroy ourselves. This is kind of my goal, is to not destroy myself. Okay? Okay. Um, over here, I'm going to add a Carlos Belli to declare war and conquest. Whatever, whatever happens, I want to make sure that the Soviets have all of Finland down and out with. And then, that's a good joke right there. I'm also going to have them declare war over here. Since the Soviet, because the Germans seem like they're going to take a little bit, so I want the Soviets to have a good amount of conquest stuff to do. And let's see. Yeah, there we go. There's all the stuff I want them to conquer, and we're going to see how much ICM we actually get out of this. Probably not very much, but yeah. So, yeah, guys, we're not going to make that mistake again. Don't declare war on Greece yet, because they actually are allied with the, uh, the USA just joined the Allies in 1940. Wow. Japan, you are being aggressive aggressive people you just instantly were like yeah we're totally gonna go conquer stands back to our door yep Japan's doing all of its usual Japanish stuff United Nations oh my goodness everything usually that usually happens in this game is happening oh my goodness yeah though I feel really bad I feel really, really bad that we did that that was like an idiotic move on my part seriously like I, I believe I believe firmly that was an idiotic part on my, oh, shysta, shysta, okay, everyone move in, kill the, so kill the Germans, everyone go kill the Germans, because now the Germans are enemies, unless they're not going to add, I think actually because this is a, this war was declared before, yeah, I think because this war was declared on before, Okay, so I think that the Germans are not going to join in the battle because they're going around the troops and this should be a war right now. I think the reason why they're not joining in is because the war was declared on before the Romanians joined the Axis. So, in actuality, they did join it, but they're not a part of it. So we can instantly destroy them then. Alright, then that's fine. You know what, if, if, they want, if the Romanians want to be a part of the Axis, that's fine with me. They're not going to be for long, but at least they were for a couple days. Okay, there we go, and down here, keep expanding, no, just keep expanding, get a puppetry out of Bulgaria, alright, and let's see, anything else we want to get, uh, once we figure out how much we can actually get from this land up here, I'm going to be, wow, they are literally adding people to the, uh, Axis as soon as we're declaring war on them, it's literally like a turn later, if they were just a turn later, they would probably get these guys in it and then be able to, like, do stuff. For some reason, they're declaring war right when they don't need to. So we just, we're not ending up at war with Russia, I mean with Germany, but we are stealing all their allies. That's kind of awesome, actually. Okay, um, yeah, let's just keep using that to our advantage, because why not? <laughs> why not? Let's, let's, just, let's just game this as much as we can, okay? Nuclear research is going underway. I'm going to get back into regular normal control. And let's see, go back to industry. Uh, as soon as they're done with that, that's going to be so nice. Okay, let's get back to over here. All right, let's see, are we still at war? No, yes, we're still not at war, war with Germany yet. Oh my goodness, and this would be a terrible time to go to war with Germany. I mean, a good time for us, but a terrible time for them. So we were at war with Germany right now. It would basically mean the end of them because they can't, they haven't done Blitz and Klee yet. So they would just be fighting the French really, really hard. And this would be, oh my goodness, this would be a terrible time for them to be declared war on. Production wise, we're wasting a lot of ICM. We'll get more of these guys then. We have a ton of people to be making. Don't you dare tell me that we have nothing to do. And it seems like we did conquer a little bit of over here. We minister, we annex Luxentania. That's good. Uh, we're trying to go defeat the rest of these guys all the way over here. We're trying to go defeat these guys down here. We're trying to go defeat everyone, basically. We're trying to make sure that the so that the Germans don't have a massive alliance that they could potentially call on to. 
Uh, Bulgaria is getting like divided into half by both me and the uh, Greeks. Not exactly what I picture as a good holy matrimony, but okay. And let's see. We're just trying to, Soviets are trying to crush through all that. Latvia has now gotten annexed. We got a little bit more land. And let's see, now the Soviets are going to go crush through all this. And then they're going to go crush through all of northern up here. Where I'll just get as much land as they want me to get. That's basically all I'm basically saying right now. Is I just want as much ICM as I can milk out of this. Out of all this land, I want to see how much ICM I can milk. And let's see, we're crushing all the Bulgarians. I think this is going to be the weirdest Bulgaria once this is all said and done. Because they're going to lose a lot of land to the Greeks. Who are being jerks right now, I don't deny. Like, they're being insanely big jerks. Okay, and let's see, do I want to puppet or conquer these guys? Um... Uh, Conquer would give me more ICMBM, but I wouldn't really use it. Puppet would probably be better. Let's see, are they allied with anyone? No. Okay. Puppetry, the Yugoslavians, by the way. That way we can make sure that we have Yugoslavia also in the midst of ours. That way we already are in Germany's underbelly region. So, we basically win. That's basically what I'm trying to make sure, is that we basically win. So... Let the German, let the Russians go crush through all the rest of this land. Conquered. Oh, I did a conquest cause of Belai? Huh. I don't remember doing that, but apparently Russia just got a lot more land. And does that count as, does that count as, what victory conditions does that count as? Does that count as the Bulgaria becomes? Romania is a puppet, Finland is a common turn puppet, Poland is a common turn puppet. Huh. I guess we do have to kind of free these nations. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't seem like I get anything. Dang it. Okay. Uh, by the way. Uh, whoops. Now I'm at War of Finland. Shoot. Did not expect that either. Did not expect to end up at War of Finland. Just for random reasons. And let's see. Now they're moving into Yugoslavia region. We're going to try to conquer that before the uh, mighty, uh, before the mighty, uh, people do. And let's see, now that we have a little bit more time, let's go start doing more artillery and more infantry. Let's see, we're definitely a small arms people. We like small arms. Oh wait, yeah, start research. Cancel, no. No, no, don't cancel. Alright, marine infantry, night fighting infantry, maybe. We need to get some, maybe some tanks. We're gonna try to get some tanks. I'm not sure if we're gonna get some tanks, but I'm gonna try to get some tanks. And let's see, we are researching that still. Alright, there we go. Got our next round of things we need to be made. And yes, Yugos Yugoslavia is probably going to give us a good fight for a little bit. But we need to get this country. That way we can stop the uh, German advance. Uh, we have lost the province. Lom. Province lost. Yeah, as you guys can see, Germany's already starting to Blitzenkrieg style. Which means they're very becoming deadly here very, very soon. Alright. Um, let's see. Um, okay, let's see. We're just going to have to hope that the Soviets can crush through everything. Hopefully they won't have anything too much loss. Okay, I mean, I think they just made peace with Yugoslavia. I think they did, or they just retreated. Uh, no, they just retreated. Okay, I was like, what the heck? Why did, why did they stop moving in? Why did the Soviets just randomly just stop moving in. That's not what they do. They usually like to conquer. Okay. Let's see. We have 85 ICMs. Oh, man. We're doing pretty good, actually. In terms of ICM making, we're doing pretty good. Okay. We also have lots of troops probably being made right here. Yes, lots of garrisons. Couple new troops. Um, Actually, I'm going to disconnect the troops so I can make sure I get... I can start, like, making new armies for the troops. Let's see. Yeah. There we go. Go right here. New troop. Let's see. You guys could probably join the, uh... Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Just disconnect all these guys. What I'll do is I'll just have you guys become, like, one unit. You guys all group up. I'll have this unit also join you. Yeah, you guys also join each other. Disconnect. Wait, wait. I don't remember what you guys were part of, but you guys disconnect. 
You guys go back here, go group up, and we're now we're just watching Yugoslavia, Lost Provinces. Yeah, Yugoslavia is going to be a little bit of a hard nation to fight for a little bit, but the Russians are going to be glad that they have these guys on their side when they're going to and attack the mighty Germanic Empire, especially when they have France added to them. Hopefully, I won't die once that moment comes when we declare war on France. Because that's a scary moment for me. Let's see, are all you guys grouped up? You guys are grouped up with a unit over there. Yeah, let's get you guys grouped up with... Let's see, you guys should be grouped up right here to the first core. Let's see, you guys to the first core. Uh, oh man, we're gonna have to make a new unit over here. Let's see, one, two. Uh, you guys can disconnect and actually group up with these guys. There we go. I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.